Hi YouTube friends, it's Hilla Skrilla, and it's time for another episode of Hilla Skrilla Pigs Out. Okay, and I want to I wanna apologize first of all, I haven't done uh, a video in a long time, and, and I'm sorry about that. I got kind of caught up with some other things recently, and kind of took a mini vacation from doing these videos. Uh, but I'll get back on track again, I'm going to try to do at least two videos a week. Uh, from now on and all right so let, let's get started okay so we're doing the fiesta fiesta box still and the next thing on the list is inca corn by inca crops okay <laughs> so, so here, here it is Okay, and it says, Margarita, meet your new BFFs. Dressed with sea salt, just like you, these naturally crisp corn kernels are so all that, and whole grain too. <laughs> and they're vegan and gluten free. Okay, so these, these kind of look like corn nuts or something like that. And I like the packaging too. I like I like this green color with the yellow. It looks nice. And it says chili picante, Inca corn. It says all natural, no trans fats, gluten free, and non GMO. And it's got the U kosher symbol on there. And it says Inca crops. Oh, that's a neat symbol. It looks like the uh, I don't know the Inca tribe. Something like that. And it's got a globe and a and a leaf. Okay. And it says roasted giant corn. Giant corn. Okay. Net weight 1.7 ounces or 48 grams. And then on the back here it says uh, Inca crops. www.incacrops.com for the spice lover comes a mouth-watering, chili, picante, intense flavor to satisfy your craving pronto. Only the largest, finest kernels are used in preparing the roasted Inca corn for a delicious light crunch. Manufactured by Inca Crops S.A. Avenue El Santuario, 1127, Herb Zarate, Lima, 36, Peru, and then it says, for consumer inquiries in the U.S., call 1-800-808-0858, product of Peru, and then it's best by used by, I mean, best if used by March 17th, 16, and then, okay, and then it says, store out of sunlight in a cool, dry place. And it's HACCP certified. I'm not sure what that is. And then it says caution: not suitable for fault, not suitable for small children who can choke on big pieces. And it's got a little symbol to throw away your trash when you're done. And the ingredients are corn, palm olein, sea salt, maltodextrin, chili pepper powder, cayenne pepper powder, garlic powder paprika powder, citric acid, oregano, silicon dioxide, paprika, oleoresin, oleoresin, and capsicum oleoresin. Alright, alright, all right, let's open it up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's dump it on the plate. Hmm. 
There we go. Apparently, these are big. Look, look at these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's pick out. Oh, yeah, those are good. I thought they would be really spicy, but they're not too spicy. <laughs> yeah, look how big these kernels are. You, you'd think with kernels this big, the 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 corn the the corn. Uh, I forget what you call them. The thing that the corn is on, it's got to be at least this big, right? <laughs> instead of instead of this big, it's got to be like this big. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> it's corn suitable, suitable for giant dinosaurs, right? <laughs> These are really good. These are way better than corn nuts. These, these have really good flavor. and I mean, it's spicy, but it, it's not too spicy. Oops. These have a really satisfying crunch, too. <laughs> Thank you. 
and they take a little while to chew too so that's kind of satisfying too it takes a long time a little longer than usual to eat the snack <laughs> This is a good sized bag of these too. Huh? Good, good serving size. Well, it says actually there's two servings in this bag. Each serving is a quarter of a cup, <laughs> or 24 grams. These are pretty salty though, they're, they're kind of burning my lips a little bit, but that might be the spice too, I mean, that might be what's burning my lips too. <laughs> Okay, last bite. We'll eat six of them at the same time. Let's see if we can stuff all these in my mouth. Focus. There we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, I, I highly recommend these. These are really, really good. They've got a really great flavor and really satisfying crunch. I like them. I like them. Okay. Okay, so uh, last, last time I did a video, I forgot to mention that I went to go see Jurassic World on, on the 14th. And it was awesome. That movie was really cool. The The new dinosaurs were really amazing, and there were some really scary scenes that made me jump out of my seat. <laughs> and and uh, it, it was neat. It was kind of neat how they incorporated some of the some of the older movies into the into this one, and. So I'm not gonna give anything away, but but if you haven't seen it, go see it. it it's really great. And uh, when we went there, I I bought those Mike and Ike Jurassic World tropical candies for for me and my friend Laura and my mom. 
So we all had those to eat while we were watching the movie. <laughs> it was fun. Okay, so, so I wanted to show you some other uh, Jurassic Park collectibles that I have from when the first movie came out. So, I'm just trying to clean my hands off a little bit here. <laughs> okay, so I've got these, uh, I've got these candies that I bought. And I've never opened them. They're, they're, they're still in here. And, uh, they're, they're called Jurassic Park Spitters. They're jawbreakers. And it's got kiwi, guava, papaya, mango, and pineapple. And, and, uh, and it's got the JP Jurassic Park symbol on here. It says, look for this brand on all official Jurassic Park products. If it's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct. <laughs> See that? There we go. Okay. And then, uh, and then on the end it just says spitters again. And, and on the back it's got a picture of the Dilophosaurus and it says Jurassic Park Spitters Tropical Fruit Flavor Jawbreakers. See? <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, and then... And then just on the back here, it's got the ingredients. Sugar, cornstarch, contains less than 2% of the following artificial flavor, carnauba wax, Corn syrup, yellow number five, blue number one, blue number two, yellow number six, red number 40, and red number three. Distributed by Creative Confection, Creative Confection Concepts Incorporated, Fox Point, Wisconsin, 53217, USA. And let's just, uh, I'm, I'm just going to open these up just to look at them. I'm, I'm not going to eat them. They're... They're over 20 years old. <laughs> so, <laughs> it might make me sick if I try to eat them. But I, I just want to see what they look like. I, I'm not sure if I've opened these before. I don't I don't think I have. Oh, look at that. They're, they're just white jawbreakers with a little bit of color, food coloring paint on them. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. They might be all right to eat, but oops. But I, I don't know. I think I want to save them still. <laughs> they filled those right up to the top. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. And then I also got these raptor bites. There's a Jurassic Park Wild Cherry Jawbreakers Raptor Bites. And it's net white 2.5 ounces or 70 grams on the end. It just says Raptor Bites again. And, and then uh, on this side it says Raptor Bites and it's got the JP Jurassic Park thing on there. If it's not Jurassic Park, it's, it's extinct. And the ingredients, sugar, cornstarch, contains less than 2 point, I'm, a, I'm sorry, 2% of the following artificial flavor, carnauba wax, corn syrup, yellow number 5, blue number 1, blue number 2, yellow number 6, yeah, uh, red number 40, and red number 3. Distributed by Creative Confection Concepts Incorporated, Fox Point, Wisconsin, 53217, USA. Okay, and this one has a velociraptor on the on the other side. Pretty neat. <laughs> it'll, it'll focus. There we go. Isn't that cool? <laughs> let's uh let's open these up and see what they look like. You know these are probably alright. I mean they're jawbreakers. 
I don't think jawbreakers really go bad. Oh, these are tiny. Look at these. Like, they kind of look like uh, nerds or uh, red hots. Can you see them? There we go. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try one. <laughs> the one that fell on the plate here. Okay. I'll try it. I'll try it. I hope I don't die. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that though. Nice cherry candy. Okay, that was good. I don't know. I might try those other drop breakers too, but not now. <laughs> All right. And the last thing is, uh, when Jurassic Park came out on VHS, I went and bought myself a copy at uh, at Kmart. I think I worked at Kmart at the time. So, and I, I'm not sure if I bought another copy to play in my VCR or not but but I bought this one just to keep as a keepsake I never opened it and on the front it says a Steven Spielberg film Jurassic Park an adventure 65 million years in the making winner of three Academy Awards including best visual effects and it's got a five dollar mail-in rebate offer with the purchase of Jurassic Park and six proofs of purchase from Jell-O ready to eat products rebate form and details inside video cassette offer valid October 4th 1994 to January 31st 1995 and it says it's got all the credits on here and, and it says PG-13 stereo surround closed captioned MCA Universal. Okay, then uh, it's in Dolby Surround Stereo. VHS Hi Fi. And then on the back, on the back it says uh, 70 Universal City Plaza, Universal City, California, 91608, 1994 MCA Home Video Incorporated. All rights reserved. Printed in USA. Warning for private home use only. Federal law prohibits severe, I mean, provides severe civil and criminal penalties for the unauthorized reproduction, distribution, or exhibition of copyrighted motion pictures and video cassettes. <laughs> and then it says Director Steven Spielberg presents a triumph of, Im of imagination, suspense, science, and cinematic magic that has quickly become the most successful film in worldwide box office history. On a remote island, a wealthy entrepreneur secretly creates a theme park featuring living dinosaurs drawn from prehistoric DNA. Before opening the attraction to the public, he invites a top paleontologist, a paleobotanist, a mathematician, theorist, and his two eager grandchildren to experience the park and help calm anxious investors. However, their visit is anything but tranquil. As the park's security system breaks down, the prehistoric creatures break out, and the excitement builds to us to surprising results. Based on Michael Crichton's best-selling novel, Jurassic Park stars Sam Neill, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, and Richard Attenborough. It's a breathtaking adventure you'll want to experience again and again. And I remember I did. I, I watched this movie in the theater about 10 or 12 times, I think. <laughs> and part of that was two or three times at the drive-in. There, there's the back. It's got all the pictures. And then it says, uh, Color, 2 hours and 7 minutes. PG-13. Digitally recorded, closed caption, trademark and copyright 1993 Universal City Studios Incorporated and Amblin Entertainment Incorporated. 
all rights reserved. This film has been modified from its original version. It has been formatted to fit your TV. <laughs> so, so that's a square pan and scan version. I don't think they started really making widescreen uh, home videos until a few years later. Maybe they did, I don't know. But, yeah, I might have to get this on Blu-ray so I can watch it again. <laughs> I wanted to go see it when it when they made it in 3D for the theaters, but I, I missed... I missed... I missed that opportunity. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe they'll have it on Blu-ray and 3D and then I can get a 3D TV and watch it. Uh, when we went to go see Jurassic World, we, we went and saw that in 3D at the IMAX. And, and that was really awesome. That IMAX screen is so huge. It's great. If you've never been to an IMAX movie, you should go sometime. It's, it's more of an experience than just a movie. Alright, but anyway, that's it for today's episode. Sorry it took me so long to get to this episode, but I hope you liked it, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>